bassist Paul Niehaus. He's going to play the guitar again into the pedal steel. Oh, there we go. That's about right. Yeah. How's everybody feeling? Good? Yes, he. and funny hats, or you're going to get an older fellow that's very bitter. <laughs> it's true. All right, a song for the uh, worst place I've ever been. Baby, that's all I can take. One. 
because there's no way after you've made seven records that you're going to remember how your songs end or remember all your songs. <laughs> People ask me to play songs before, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I've not played that in seven years. And they're like, well, why don't you know it? I'm like, well, do you remember what you've done every day at work for the past seven fucking years? <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> oh, a song about Sunday mornings and relaxing and the food you love, the woman you love, and the uh, things like that. Oh, wait. Yeah! yeah. No. 
like Detroit, we've got it fallen to ruin, because we don't give a shit what happens to our cities and our people in the United States. Um, but that's as far as I go with politics. That's my, that's my father's thing. He gets things too complicated. I don't care what you believe, you're still entitled to have a good time. <laughs> Sitting on the blacktop with a cold dog night, boy. It's pitch black sky, there ain't a star inside. Looking for a change, I'm passing through Memphis in the rain. Buildings and overgrown yards. I got one hand on the wheel and one on my heart. Looking for a girl with a name. I'm passing through Memphis in the rain. And no matter what I do, Lord, I can't stop now. Gotta keep that hammer to the floor, baby. Until I'm clear out of Arkansas. Understood figure. Uh, when people talk about her, they usually say junkie before anything. And uh, I don't, I, that's not fair. She was a, a little girl from Baltimore that never had a chance. If you're born to a prostitute in the Baltimore waterfront, you're fucked. Basically. So here's for the uh, little girl from Baltimore. Has she been around tonight? 
Give a call if she should have gone. Cause it's been at least a week now since last time I seen her. What dress? What shoes? What got things? Maybe she. Taxi down to Lexington 44. So take me back to Baltimore. Yeah, cause long ago she loved to walk there when she could not stop the bleeding. Why dress? Why choose? Why got demons? She told them to come outside. They went outside laughing, and she beat the ever-living shit out of both of them. And I love that. That's, yeah. What an asshole. It's like, that's why you, uh, you know, don't fuck with women, because you never know what they're capable of. With, with self-defense courses and pepper spray? Better be careful. But then there's women like my mom that got three inches reach on you. And, uh, yeah, it's bad. Can't stop her.
to I have the ability to listen to like two people two other tables com uh, conversations and still hold one at the same time when I'm in restaurants and I do <laughs> and that's I get I still use my personal experiences other otherwise I wouldn't know shit about what I'm talking about but I do uh, it's not it's not all uh, there like I don't hate my father like my songs make it sound. <laughs> it's just one of those things, it's a, you're, I'm sorting through things and I find that other people relate to some of the same things. And that's what songwriting and music is all about. Very few people can be Tom Waits or Leonard Cohen and create something all new that is not, not relatable because you don't know what the fuck's going on anyway. <laughs> because when he says, meet me by the knuckles of the skinny bone tree, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh, um. 
incoming headlights through a mountain mist Too close for comfort and too much at stake So turn the radio down Roll the windows up and say to myself I thought I'd be a better Sometimes I wish that I could find a way I don't feel so all alone I don't know Church, New Zealand, and I saw it one time before that happened, and it was incredible. I mean, a very old city made entirely of stone, uh, the downtown area and the, the original city. And holy shit! When I came back, everything was in little uh, shipping containers. People had to open their businesses somehow. So that's it's crazy. And this song I wrote for the city, not for uh, a girl. So there is no Christchurch woman. Thank you. 
the song, well, this sounds kind of a weird message for what I'm going to say, but um, my, my wife like, really saved my ass. I was a miserable fucker, very miserable most of my life. And then I was 30, and then I, I got lucky and met this one. And so I don't take requests from people, anybody but my wife. Yes. Yeah, because once again, I can't remember all my songs, but I figure if anybody's going to get a request, it should be my wife. And once again, this song is not going to, it's not going to, it doesn't put across the right message, but she loves it. So, so we'll, uh, let's see if I can remember. I just don't like doing the same shit over and over again. And we drew out the, the chords to this song when we recorded it, and uh, this is how I played it to the band, and uh, they said, that's, that's not going to work. <laughs> okay, because I always try to play drummer. Drummer's not working. Damn thing to do, just hang me in. 
it out. The one you love loses faith in you. Blowing your stuff to see the doubts. And she covers her mouth to tell a lie. Covers her mouth but don't cover her eyes. That's where you see the doubts. i 
six months after we got married. I wouldn't have married nobody that done this. Symphony. Don't 
don't try to play rock and roll. to the blues, which is, uh, every, everything did, jazz did, it sucks. Even the blues did, blues sucks. Rock and roll lost its connection to it, rock and roll sucks. You know, there's very few, you get like deer tick and things like that that come around, they're awesome. But think about yeah. when you're, what, in a, in a, like in a generation, somebody's gonna have their grandkid on their knee and tell them about the fucking glory days of insane clown posse. <laughs> You know how I mean, isn't that horrifying? <laughs> it's fucking yeah, that's that's horrifying. So uh, here's to country music and we'll and the blues, which Hank Williams didn't invent the twelve bar blues. He had learned it in Louisiana. Be what you need. 
started dragging his ass out and he was being drug out of the building saying oh love you <laughs> why did you throw a glass bottle at me I don't, I don't understand this this thing that you call love <laughs> hold on i don't think my tuner is working it's not i got it This has uh, become one of my favorite songs to play off of the new record. Um, I think it's on the newest record, I believe. Um, I can't remember. Not even, you know. You know I, I did a shit ton of dope for a long time. And, you know, still have a smoke now and then. Little tasty. Okay, that's better than the alternative. And uh, I like to go all, all out on everything. It's trouble sometimes. Well, not not very. Oh, the Eleventh Street Bar was like my living room when I was when I was living in New York. I used to drink on the bartenders there when I was 15. They didn't like that because you know, that's a long way from drinking age in the states. What is it here? 18? We're still 21. Stay. 
beats vibration. Nothing learned, nothing gained. And I've nowhere to go. Threats on the city and the bridges are closed. Yesterday he fell full foot of snow. Sleek black sky on a bright white bar. Souls to paths, great men said, and now push me right to the edge. And I know inside, I find my way back to this city some night. I feel the ground shake as a train goes by. you right between the eyes with a ball-peen hammer. <laughs> I'm a little strange if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I run the TV on static and I watch baseball while I write. Clears my head.
going to do another another song that's not mine. We've been doing this one recently. It's it's one of a, a lot of women's favorite songs. It is, and uh, it's funny you see, especially younger people go sit there going. Sometimes till so you get the chorus, it's hilarious. But everybody knows this song. You goddamn well better if you're here. <laughs> Oh, 
much. You've been a wonderful audience. Um, how about another hand for Andrew Combs? He's got a new record out. Be the first on your block. Uh oh. Now, this song uh, contains no advice, and I suggest you don't. Yeah, don't do any of the things in the song. I've had people tell me that they've done a few of the things in the song, and they are either goddamn liars or the nastiest motherfucker on earth. <laughs>
These in ears look funny. Oh, but they save my ass. They do. I always have to tell people it's like I got these because I'm deaf, not because I don't want to. Go. Already done. That's what happens when you tour with my father for for two years, playing punk bands before that. Oh yeah. I loved playing punk rock because all you had to do was be nasty. Yes. You'd be like Sid Vicious and not even know how to play your instrument.
somebody bitching about their their request and then say sorry kitten. <laughs> oh, it can get some shit. I I do like riling people up sometimes. But I do like I I do only I think piss off the right people. Thank you. 